Hi everybody. Today I'm going to show you one of my favorite super easy cauliflower rice dishes that I like to make. I'm not a big cook but what I realized early on as I learned to lose weight and maintain my weight is that if you want to do that you're going to have to cook for yourself at least 80% of the time. I have so many clients that come in and tell me, I don't cook, I don't know how to cook. Well, guess what? Learn to cook. I learned to cook in my late 30s, and I, I cook very simple things for myself, but they're satisfying, I enjoy them, and they're on plan. So today I am going to show you a dish that I, I love Indian food, I love Indian spices. Unfortunately, when I go to an Indian restaurant, everything's filled with cream and all kinds of things that just really are not on plan, and particularly the naan that I love so much. So I do my own version at home, and I love to use all the different Indian spices and cook the cauliflower rice and integrate um, some fresh lemon and tofu. I grew up a vegetarian, so I learned to eat meat in my 20s, and I'm still really, you know, I skew more to a vegetarian diet, so I love tofu, I love eggs, and, um, but I do, I eat lean chicken, I'm not a big red meat eater, so um, today I'm gonna show you my favorite cauliflower stir fry recipe, and you can add so many things to this. I'm gonna make just a very simple version today, so I hope you enjoy. So here are uh, the ingredients. I love this Trader Joe's uh, cauliflower rice. It's in the freezer section. It's so easy. The bag is 12 ounces. I put the whole bag in and then I'll eat half at one meal and half at another meal. These are my favorite spices. So I love coriander, turmeric, cumin, ginger, curry powder. I love all those. And of course, fresh squeezed lemon, some chopped parsley. I like to um, get a very specific kind of tofu. So I like it to be sprouted organic. Uh, fermented tofu. So make sure, you know, there's a variety of tofus to buy, but really buy the highest quality. And then I have chopped it up here, cubed it. It's a half of a packet, which is about um, half of a serving size of about four ounces. So even though it says it's a larger amount of ounces, half of a packet of tofu is really about equal to your four ounces of protein that is animal protein. So here we go, here's the cooked version. So the first thing I'm gonna do is add a little bit of water in here, maybe like a half a cup. I don't cook in oil, I always save my oils so that I get to use those on my veggies and my salads. So I'm going to add all of the cauliflower rice and it's a little, um, kind of needs to be broken up a little bit because it has been in the freezer. I'm going to add that in there and then I am going to add my tofu and I'm going to then put my spices on top here. So I'm going to have a little bit of coriander and this is all just to taste. I love turmeric, the properties, ooh, lots of that. Uh, the properties of turmeric are so anti-inflammatory. I try to cook with that a lot. And this here is some cumin, and I absolutely love ground ginger, so I'm gonna open up, put a lot of that in there. I love it so much. And then I like to top it off with a little bit of curry powder, which probably has a few of these things in it. And I'm gonna just mix that up and I'm gonna cover it and allow it to just really steam, get the cauliflower rice cooking and um, then we're gonna add a few things in towards the end. Okay, so now it has been sauteing for a little bit here and we're going to just, you know, Stir it up a little bit here. So the tofu and the cauliflower rice have had a chance to cook maybe four, five, seven minutes. And now we are going to add the parsley over here. I love fresh parsley, very uh, simple flavors. 
and uh, squeezing the lemon here and again fresh lemon juice so many amazing properties to it so um i love to use himalayan sea salt pepper to taste this is a very simple dish you could add chopped uh, zucchini asparagus you could put some broccoli in here whatever your favorite non-starchy low glycemic vegetables are you can add those to this dish it's very flavorful very tasty and your family is going to enjoy it too you can put any kind of protein in here you could add chicken beef you could make it like almost like a Chinese fried rice. Um, so many different options. Mine is a kind of an Indian curried version today. So I hope everybody enjoyed this video and look forward to having you share your recipes with me too. Have a great day. I had to add a PS to this video because I happen to have some leftover veggies that I had in a container in the refrigerator and so I added them to the cauliflower rice. I've got some red bell peppers, green bell peppers, there's some zucchini in there. There is some onion in there which is not a phase one thing. So if you are in phase one, you're not going to be cooking onion, but you could use minced onion or green onions in here. Lots of different options. So uh, that's my PS. Okay, ending number two. Have a great day, you guys.